Good morning, Ma Bear. Good morning, Ma Bear. Where are we going? Uh, I, I know we're going to a gun store. That's about all I know. We're going somewhere special. One of your favorite places in the world. We're not going to Disneyland. We're going to pretty much really close to Disneyland. Magic Mountain. Very close to the both of those two. Hawaii? Very, very close to all three of those. Chuck E. Cheese? Very, very, really, extremely close. You're getting so close now. My bed? No, even closer. You're just there. A really expensive hotel with free room service and the softest bed in the world? Exactly. We're going to the gun store. <laughs> I know we're going to the gun store. But that's not anywhere near those. Oh man, the 60's closed. Is it? Yeah. There's a way you could get on there, I bet. I There's know. gotta be a way. <laughs> if I go man. through all these cones, probably. <laughs> Fine. Do it Michael Bay style. What would Michael Bay do? Explore Damn, my car. Damn, are you serious? How can they do this? This is what I hate about LA. How can you do construction in the middle of the day? When you already know LA has like the worst freaking traffic in the world. Do it yeah. in the middle of the night. Yeah, I mean it is the weekends. So I think that's their thought process for sure. But there's even traffic on the weekends. LA is notorious for bad traffic. Yeah, it is. But I'm really excited that you're coming with me to the gun store. Promise? Yeah, because you know how much I love guns. I've been loving guns ever since I was a kid. And then ever since I was 18, I wanted to own a gun. I joined the military and I got very familiar with the M16. I love guns, but guns is a luxury. It's like uh, it's like golf, you know? Yeah. Uh, a bag of golf clubs can easily cost a couple grand and guns are just as expensive, if not more expensive. Yeah. And finally, I'm making my own money. And so I could finally indulge in this hobby that I've only been, I've only been viewing from far away. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. You know, back in the days when we used to go shooting with our other friends that had actual jobs, I felt like such a freeloader. Cause it would be like, remember our friend Ryan? He would have like 20 guns and we would shoot it and he would never charge us for bullets, never charge us to use guns. And I would just shoot him all day. And I felt bad all the time. And then that's why now when I have guns, some of the guns Nadim has shot that, that I bought brand new, that I haven't even shot yet. But I just want to pass on what Ryan has passed on to me. Oh, that's so nice. So you're paying it forward. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I like that mentality. I like paying it forward. I think that's what makes a society really, really, really cool. Yeah, because I know how awesome it was for me to really love guns, but not have guns, but have the ability to shoot guns because my friends were really nice. So now I just want to pay it forward and give it to Nadine because I know he's broke because he's young. But then now I'm balling. So I, I want to be able to um, let him play with some guns. Fine. But today I'm really excited because I'm picking up two guns today. Well, actually, I'm picking up two and I'm buying two. Damn. Yeah. Are you excited for me because you're my best friend and best friends always support their best friends with whatever they want to do? Yes! Mmm, donuts. Red velvet donut. What? Blueberry. Blueberry donut? Yeah. What's your favorite donut? Uh, chocolate bar. Chocolate bar? Yeah. What? But I thought you don't like chocolate. But it's more of a bar than the chocolate. Oh. And I got this one. Reese's peanut butter donut. I want you to try the coffee. The Stumptown Nitro Brew is oh. hella bomb. Okay. Oh, it's, it's smooth, right? Yeah. It's really yeah. It comes out on tap like this. It comes out on that tap right there. And the, the there's foam in there, and it comes out like a Guinness, where it's it comes out frothy, but then it settles, and then you get that nice little foam layer on top. Yeah, Joe got a big ass regular sugar donut. This is basic. What is this? What is this? What are you playing with? So I just got my M24 in. This is the one that I've been waiting for. For how long? Uh, very long time. But this is an actual service stock. Oh, in the cool. military. 
Yeah, so, you could see. I mean, can you tilt it more this way? Because you can see all the little nooks and scratches and stuff. So I'm probably never even going to shoot this. I'm just going to keep this as a collectible in the office. I'm probably going to mount it and then put like a lock on it so Isaac doesn't shoot himself. <laughs> Uh, but this is a. This was formerly only available to the military. The civilian side, you get the Remington 700. This is the M24. It's a heavier barrel. But now they're releasing this to the civilian market, so I'm super excited to be able to get this. Because when I saw Joe get it last time, I was really jealous. But he really wanted it, so I just let him have it. But uh, now I have my own. So you're getting this, and what else? You get, that's yours too. And I got this guy. <laughs> this is a. This is gonna be my new baby. This is called an Aveski. I thought I was your baby. No, you're not. <laughs> this is a new, my new baby. It's an Aveski with the Elkin uh, sight. Damn, dog. Damn, Daniel. Damn. So this is super light. I can't wait for you to feel this, babe. But this, like, you can maneuver this bad boy like it's like nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So was was this the one that was similar to what you had? So I, in have, the, I have AR, oh, right? My AR. In the military, no. Uh, no, that other one, my other AR is similar to the one that I have in the military. This is like the Lamborghini version. Of that. Ooh. Seven hundred with the USO. Awesome. So I already had this. But I bought a new scope. And, uh, is this yours? Yeah. So I already had this. I bought a new scope. And they mounted it for me. This scope is like fucking sick. So what's awesome about this scope, usually when you go shooting, long distance, you have a, you're shooting and you have a spotter, right? And the spotter has its own scope, a spotting scope. And the spotting scope is usually clearer than your actual rifle scope because it's made to spot. When he went shooting with his boss, this was clearer than a spotting scope. Oh, snaps. And this is the new new. Oh, new new. Uh, That's what. Scope costs? I have no idea. I'm not tell you. But can't wait till we go. What was that his? Wait, what did. That's your 700? What did you get done to it? The scope. Oh. Oh. Do you know how much that scope is, Joe? This is my Noveski. Huh? Do you know how much that scope is? Yeah, it's like two Gs. Or a oh, it's, over. it's a little three. bit over. It's three. Yeah, it's oh. Three. It's three flat. It's like 27. Oh, it's light scope. This is a heavy ass scope, but it's hella light. I've been wanting to shoot the. Well, the best is tight, man. It's hella light. I gotta get a more scope. Yeah, that's his. Oh my god. This is not the mall I, I thought we were going to. What do you mean, buddy? You wanna see what I'm gonna get? Yeah, what are you getting? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, getting this today. What is that? It's a pistol. 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 <laughs> what were the fingers for? I think it's awesome. It's a pistol. What do you think, buddy? Awesome. What is it known for? What or why is it good? Or why was it different? Oh really? Yeah, I bet. Probably one or two minor adjustments, but it's awesome. 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 Awesome.
So this at one time, meaning there's no magnification. So it's just a clear red dot. Boom, see the guy? And you pull the red dot on the guy, right? But in a click of a button, it goes from one time magnification to four times. So oh, if you're shooting shit. some guy right here, and all of a sudden you see a weird guy pop up in the back there, boom, now it's ma it magnifies by four times. Back to one. Cool. You're definitely in your element right now, for sure. And it's so light. You and every other guy in here, they're like fucking little kids again. I'm into a scar, he has, he has to move this gun, so. Cool. What is this? What is this? So this is what the Navy SEALs use. It's the SIG M, um, sorry, P226 Mark 25. And then you can see the anchor there, right there. Um, it's totally phosphate coated. It's got a chrome lined barrel. Uh, it's 9 millimeter. It's super badass. We've got the decocking lever here so you can drop the hammer without pulling the trigger once you want to reholster it. Go ahead and check it out. Awesome. Yeah, man. Is this lighter than a regular 226? Uh, no, it's the same weight. It's got an aluminum alloy um, lower frame there and a stainless steel barrel and stainless steel slide. Oh, okay. And then it's got the SIG light night sights that glow in the dark. They have oh, pretty oh, cool. in them. Awesome. And the phosphate coating is for the anti-salt water coating. Yeah, exactly. It's internally and out on the outside. So, so since it's for Navy SEALs, once they go swimming with it, it's like you gotta pull it out and, yeah. and do their job. That's dope. So anti-salt water corrosion. Yeah. So that means if I go scuba diving, I'm gonna keep this on. Definitely. <laughs> Oh, cool. And then here's the certificate of authenticity. Oh, awesome. Yeah. That thing is really nice. <laughs> and you're getting the M24 today, too. M24. I'm getting that part. Pretty much, yeah. Nice. 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 Y'all get it. It's actually in better condition than mine's, but I, really? I, yeah, mine's ones, the, the barrel's a lot more worn out. Oh, wow. Y'all get it. <laughs> Did you say, Joe? That what? If he's not gonna get it, I was gonna get it, but he says I'm gonna get it, and I, I didn't see him doing the paperwork. <laughs> That's what I told Joe about the M24. I was like, if you don't get it, I'm gonna get it. But he got it. But I still got another one. <laughs> oh wow. What is it? Why is it oh wow? I didn't know their magazine was made in Italy. Ah. Oh. This gun's made in or what assembled if it was, in the US. What if it was made in China? Would you still say oh wow? <laughs> if it was meant to be, I don't know. <laughs> if it wasn't made in China, I would have been like, fuck that, why are you buying this part? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Ricky was the true homie though, because he had to convince his co-worker to sell that. This is brand new, man. Why, why did he convince his... He, he convinced him why? Because he was not going to sell it? No, because he's... Yeah. He wasn't going to... Whoever kept this kept it in freaking... Yeah. It's his. Oh, it's your first? Man, you keep it clean. Yeah. It's basically just been like a safe queen, you know? I haven't yeah. really shot it that much. It's, I love it, but... Dude, that trigger is like a two pound trigger. More of a pocket guy. Uh, I bought off my buddy. Well, because uh, so he wanted to get another gun, but the other gun's really expensive. So Ricky was like, well, if you need, want to get another gun, why don't you sell another gun of yours? Because I know That's someone smart. that wants to buy your gun. Right. So through his arrangements, he was able to make me happy, put some cash in his pocket so he can make him happy by another gun. So Ricky, the true homie, made everybody happy just by moving some gun trading around. That is amazing. Ricky's a man. Chinese born in Taiwan, right, Bart? Yes. Hey, can I have your phone number, Bart? Hang on, over here. Oh, you were starting to record it. So this is Ricky's scar. I'm picking up my scar today. This is a bare bone stock one. And as you get into collecting guns, you start wanting to get like better and better quality stuff, and it's not about quantity anymore. 
which is why I want to get a scarf because this guy's pretty expensive. But Ricky only gets good stuff, so he has it hooked up with really nice things. And uh, so he has an Elkin uh, side on it. He says Don't this you already have an Elkin? On the AR. Yeah. But he says this is pretty much the exact Navy SEAL setup. Where it's a 308 rifle, it's good for close quarter combat, but it also has enough firepower to hit longer distance. And then yeah, they put the Elkin on there, it's indestructible. This is a beautiful rifle. I like that he's doing something Yeah. Yeah. Such a beat. Makes me want to cry. Here with Dietrich. Oh man. Oh, something, something. Ooh. My excitement dance for you guys. Hi. You're rain dancing. <laughs> do you drive your other car? Sometimes. Or do you only drive I the drive Beast it. Mobile now? <laughs> Sometimes I, I mean, I want to drive it now that Geo parked next to it. Oh yeah, you guys could go drive together. Hell no, I can't keep up with him. BMW, my driving's bad, so. It's about the driver. <laughs> it's about the driver, not the car. Confidence. Just Confidence. kidding, the driver, the car helps out a lot, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know how I could murder somebody in a Fiat. Well, maybe a Fiat would be better than a... Did you say murder someone in a yeah. Fiat? I think that's genius. They never suspected No, you just drive right next to everybody and they're like, oh, it's probably not him, definitely not him. <laughs> For sure, not him. Yeah. Everybody, this is John. Hi. Hey, John. Hi. Nice to meet hey, you. Hi. Hey, what's up, John? Oh, you <laughs> juked me. <laughs> you juked him. And he does. Is Richard Doe Chinese? No. He does look like Richard Doe. I'm in Dietrich's house right now. And it's really dark. So. And it's dark and very seductive. This is where Dietrich bangs everybody. Oh my God. Yeah, he banged me there once. It was awesome. Wow. Is your butthole hurt still or no? Huh? Did your butthole heal? My butthole's been loose. Can you give me a tour of your house, Dietrich? Yeah, this is uh, my family room, my living room, my kitchen, and my bedroom all in one. And your production house. This is tight, dude. This and is cool, and though. All. It's fun. So, do you ever walk around here naked by yourself? All the time. Aren't you scared that people can, are gonna look through the windows? I'm kind of hoping, because I think I'll scare dude, them. Dude, they still haven't sent this shit to us. We got two. We have two of these that that you guys haven't got it yet. They never. We got like two, two channels years. that are over a million. Oh, fucking two years already. Uh, fucking racist. bitch ass YouTube. Dude, Michelle Obama. She, she didn't send you this you either. She wrote you something. She didn't send you this either. No. What did you do to do that? What'd uh, you do to deserve that? Lots of... Oh! <laughs> it looks like pottery making. <laughs> so what else is around here? This is it. Tell me how you designed this place. Well see, we all started with the... Uh, the white walls? The white walls. <laughs> we all started with walking in and asking how much rent I really was. like what you did with the pipes. Thanks man, what is it about the pipes that you love the most? It looks industrial. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What is this? Do you guys just lay here? Man, you got all what is this? Iron, this is Iron, Iron Man. Man. No, I know, but what is, what is, is it? Is it a is it a bean bag? What is it? It's, like, it's kind of like a bean bag, but Air more bag? importantly, it's it's like foam. Oh. More importantly, it's about this. It's about what's on top of it. The Iron, Iron Man, Man towel. That is pretty tight. Is Marvel or DC? What's up? Marvel, of course. Oh, okay. okay, we can hang out then. Did oh, you watch hey, Deadpool? Have you? Yes, Three I, times, I loved it. How many times have you seen it? Five. Really? That's a lot. No, I only watched it once, but I loved it though. <laughs> what? Uh, Deadpool? Let me guess. You never used the kitchen. That's why you put the couch over here? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Great it's, all, it's a living room, family room, kitchen, all in one. Do you, is the couch just really usually here, or do you put it somewhere else? So it's over here? <laughs> yeah. But then to film, you put it over here? Yeah, for food channels. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Everything's easy to tear down, so it's really That fun. is very Did cool. Did you decorate all of this yourself? Uh, I mean... I don't know if it's anything to really brag about. No, this such is a, great. It's no, such a man place. Actually, if anything no, green, it's not. Because men places are usually like, everything's on the floor. Like, this is great. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's open. What do you mean things are on the floor? Where else do you put it? On the walls? Well, I mean, he put shelves. Like, oh, that here. wasn't me. I gotta give that up to Green and Megan Batune. They made that. Oh, then never mind. The touch like of a shit. woman. I take it back. Oh, but it's just, that's the only thing. Everything else was oh, fine. Oh, everything looks good. What about that up there? Oh, that's that's Pinterest. You know what that is? It's like, <laughs> Pinterest. I was that's awesome. That the spiders were gonna go past the pipes. Like if there's like hanging oh. while I'm sleeping. So I was like, let's cover it, and then that was that's that's pretty what, gay. Were you afraid of eating like eating the spiders in your that's sleep? Yeah. You see, I'm not the only one. No, there's an average. It was on a Snapple bottle. 
Uh, three a year. The average human. Told you, well, I said three spiders in their sleep. I said seven. They're I delicious. Three. And then you, it's from uh, Snapple, so you know well, it's legit. Uh, yeah. yeah. Snapple doesn't lie. Never. So you can't tell me I'm being a big baby when I'm afraid of that stuff. No, I'm just saying how else are gonna get your protein source if you don't eat spiders? That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Beatrix knows the way to our heart. Look at that. Brisket, ribs, fried chickens. Ooh. You act like you've never eaten before. I'm so hungry, but this is our favorite food. We love southern food. This is great. Authentic Popeyes. What is this? Come on. Thank you. Oh yeah, dude. You know the way to our taste buds. We wanted to eat Chinese food. I was like, I'm gonna eat that shit. What's wrong with Chinese food? Damn, you're racist. Everyone in the comments, say how racist Gio is. No, don't say that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. People bully. <laughs> so you gotta watch what you say. You can't be saying crazy shit like that. You crazy? Yeah, why are you racist? You don't like Chinese people? No, I just wow, don't like Gio. Damn. No. Every, you know, you're not gonna buy anything from Made in China anymore? What the wow. heck? What? I'm not even gonna celebrate Chinese New Year. Oh That's my fun. goodness. Oh. Yeah, I'm really hyped for this one. It's probably one of my favorites. <laughs> you guys are weird. Probably is my favorite. You love barbecue? Fuck yeah. I love barbecue yeah, too. Yeah, it's delicious. Barbecue is like my best friend. <laughs> Mine too. Yeah, because you're me. No one wants to be your friend. No, because your man loves barbecue. What is that, Snapchat? Snapchat. I gotta get on Snapchat. Hey. And three things that you like. Okay. You can say whatever you want, really. Do you right. care about that? What's that? A reflection. Whoa, your eyes look great. Yeah, I Make them big. Nah, we'll probably punch in you. Like. Big? Look, okay. you're gonna have stuff on the side. Yeah, that's fine. I'll probably pick it down. Do you want me to forget that? I love that light. Oh, it's the best. Oh, okay. it's a hundred dollars? That's it? Too easy. Too easy. Oh shit, can I vlog this intro? Yeah, you already okay. the camera for you? Tunch. Yeah. Joe has to vlog. Fresh kicks, bro! Thank you. You keep them oh, clean, you though. Oh, you dirtied that. Oh, oh I did? The, the are they clean or are they dirty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you fucked them up. It's perspective, I don't know. You look, I look at the left He's one. Or I look at the right one. You look at the left I one. Did. I know. That one was better than this You one. know, Japan's a pretty fun place to buy shoes at. Really? Yeah. They got pretty cool you shoes can't, there. It's ready to record. I feel like I don't have any fan base there at all. Yeah, it's you good. do. Yeah. Okay. You're a fan of Everyone's and hair is like yours. <laughs> so thin, but going well. Yeah. <laughs> and. Yeah. Action. What's up, my people? My name is the JoJo, and I like three things in this world. Three. One is watermelon, is my favorite, but I'm not the black guy. <laughs> he started laughing. I don't care. <laughs> Two is I like the gun. But I also like, which leads me to number three, dancing. I teach the dominant how to touch. Have a time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bart. Your turn, baby. <clears throat> Whoa, that's smack bright. Holy guacamole. Your eyes are bomb, though. I feel like I'm gonna get darker standing here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tan. <laughs> Keep me healthy, 
because I like the cat, but when I touch the cat, my eyeball get the itch. So I take allergy and it feel good. And number two, I like the water because you need it. Number three, I like to watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> I like this because, last but not least, I like this. Because <laughs> I like it. Because I like it. Who doesn't like it? Like Alright, no Gio. So I'm not saying anything, they're doing their accent yet. Sure. Okay, you, you can, can do it? You can do your best and then we can always do a good voice over it. Because he'll do it funny. What? I'm just going to try to you, you have a different one? A different type of Asian accent, something that could feed to hers. So I could do like a Korean guy. Go ahead. You said like a Korean guy. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna just kind of be like a right here. Geo, and she gonna, likes three things. I'm gonna just uh. Bart, pull out a little bit. I'm gonna <laughs> just. Yeah, pull out, bro. Uh, no way. Here, I'll put this over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just get to him. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ready? Wait, what are you gonna start with? Like, hi, I'm Geo. What are you gonna say? Wait, are you moving your mouth? And yeah, heck yeah. Your mouth? yeah. Heck yeah, just go for it. Don't think. I try to mention. Don't, don't think, don't think, don't think. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it, go. Alright, and. It's a teamwork. Action. I'm rolling. What's up, Mara Parker? Today is like a kimchi international holiday. <laughs> and uh, my name is Gio, and I like to put a pepper in the wiener. Huskies <laughs> and also I like uh, oh Tarzan and the last but not the least <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you bye <laughs> perfect <laughs> There's a dog. Vert in the world. Hey, puppies. Vert in the world. Dan Daniel. Hi. What's up, David? What's up? What's up, David? I just told this dude to be casual because I know he's going to sweat a lot. Hey, Mario. What's up, David? What's up, dude? Oh my god. I'm still. Like Are you sore, really? <laughs> I'm still sore. No way. It's like my butt. My butt area. Right Let me see. Oh, it is sore, dude. <laughs> this is good. What are you making over here? Um, we are doing a ramen with 14 hour smoked brisket today. What? Where'd you get this barbecue uh, so skill set we, from? Oh, uh, actually, YouTube. Really? Um, I've so you're not, not from a, Texas? No, I'm not a formally <laughs> trained chef. Um, I actually used to work in management. Yeah. But really, I you know I've been barbecuing my whole life, and it sort of evolved into oh, tight. smoking meat. Yeah. For anywhere from you know six hours to to fourteen hours for brisket. Yeah. So it's it's really become this sort of passion, passion of mine. Yeah. So I like smoking meat too. Really I have a smoker at home. Oh, no way. But the, um, the, the, the stand-up kind. You know, you the put vertical. like the water. Yeah, it's vertical. You put the water uh, and it goes it up. Is it a Smoky Mountain? Weber Smoky Mountain? Yes, it was like 300 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You have a pellet smoker or no? Uh, no. This is offset smoker, just like you do in Texas, just oak and hickory wood. Oh, nice. Yeah. So what do you got here? Just boiling water? Yeah, so we're going to be doing ramen with the brisket. So you guys will I'll take you through a little tasting of all the different parts of a brisket as well. So what kind of uh, broth is it? So this is a tonkotsu broth. Oh, very, that very smells bomb. Classic Japanese uh, ramen broth. God damn, that smells good. Wow, look at this. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's like a hot pot burner, but the professional kind. So you can have shabu shabu here. Are you excited, David? Yeah, well, we had, I had the pork belly earlier because we were making it for the for the cooking segment of the show. Yeah. And that shit was fucking good. Okay, and it's just salt and pepper, that's it. But it's so this whole thing's a show? So this is a pilot that we're shooting for a cooking show because uh, I know that a lot of cooking shows that you guys see from other Asian YouTubers suck ass. <laughs> Hell yeah! 
If they're not David or JK, they fucking suck dick. West side cut. That's right. Look at this ugly motherfucker right here. Oh my god. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Damn. But you're supposed to make the noodles separate and then you put the broth in. How come all the girls are standing next to each other? Crazy. Yeah, like, which one? I don't know. <laughs> Zim Zwak. 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 What is going on now with all those tools? Uh, just God damn. I'm trying to be a Ninja Turtle today? Why do you got a katana in there? That is so. I want a blanket full of guns. Like I can just roll. <laughs> oh, like in the movie, yeah. just like pop. All the guns come out. Yeah. Is that a big ass brisket? Is that the brisket? That is the brisket. Oh my goodness, it's warm. Yeah. So how this is how I keep it in temp. Vacuum seal it with the fat. Uh, make sure you know it's. Let the juices warm. stay inside. Yeah. Make sure it's warm before serving. So you smoke it and then you vacuum seal it and then yeah. you. What do you do? You put it. Um, Don't just, tell them the secret. No, it's just it's just <laughs> staying warm in a water bath to to make sure it's staying at the consistency. Oh, this water bath right here. Yes, sir. Oh, damn! You got all kinds of you secrets. You know what I like to do with my brisket? I like to put it in foil and let damn. it sweat. Let it sweat. Is that what it's doing? Is it sweating in there? <laughs> it's it's more uh, relaxing. Oh. It's ginger buying in there. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do after. We're gonna go to the gym gel bang. Ginger <laughs> bang? Disheveled and like fucked up. No, I was like in the gym. You what are you so talking cool. about, Ma Bear? Because you obliterated so right us. You said you couldn't sit for three, three days because she looks she like, like a professional. When you were talking to us, you were just so happy. Oh. Oh. So oh. Gonna make it look like we did this. This morning. You're gonna do movie magic and make it look like you did this this morning? Oh yeah. But when did you really do this? Uh, a week ago, because of filming schedule. Oh yeah. Scheduling. But that's how they do it in TV shows and movies. It's all fake. Exactly. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh my goodness. Zam. Look at that freaking crust. What do you like to put for the rub? Um. Central Texas style, just salt and pepper. Salt and pepper is my just favorite. Just salt and pepper. Oh, I need to smell it or else I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, no. What are you gonna? What are you doing right now with the butcher paper? Are you gonna send it to your friend? <laughs> uh, just wrapping it to keep it, keep it moist. Yeah. Just keeping it nice and warm. Yeah. And comfortable. Got a baby along this uh, brisket here. That's pretty cool, man. Making it look movie, movie. Oh, look, it's Tiff. It's Tiff with the purple hair. How do you like it? I love, 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 love my hair. Can I touch it? Is it? Does it feel soft? Softer or no? Uh, for now, yeah, because like every time you go to the salon, like just she puts stuff in it and it comes out like extra healthier than before. Yeah. What did you um? What made you want to go with the purple? Uh, I wanted purple hair since I was in the fifth grade. And you finally made it happen. I finally did it. How come you always had a dream to be a grape and now she yeah. is? Yeah. How come you didn't uh, do it before? Uh, I couldn't do it before because of the job that I had. Oh, they they thought it was too crazy. At the hospital, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't even get nails done. Oh what? But now I can finally do it. That's awesome! Congratulations. I'm so happy. My hair is all Bad Tiffany. Back at it again with the papa hair. That's a. Oh, the brisket disappeared. Brisket disappeared. I ate it all. Sorry. Damn it. Sorry, guys. I know it's disappointing, but I couldn't resist. Son of a. <laughs> Are you excited, Ma Bear, for the ramen with the barbecue? Oh, I'm so excited. Did you smell this broth? You know what you should do is since. Did you smell the broth? You, uh huh. You should give him diarrhea. Did you smell the broth, babe? Yeah, I can smell it. it smells freaking delicious. God damn. Came back to the bitch bar. Came back to the bitch. 24 hour? Damn.
Dang, that, that camera is serious. Yeah. What are you getting, B-roll? What are you yeah. doing? Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that looks professional. Like oh, I'm gonna get out of your way. You look like you're actually working on something. <laughs> <laughs> damn, that light is serious too. Whoa, damn. Damn. So, we just finished eating ramen uh, at David's TV pilot filming thing. And uh, his buddy Stevie, who is a barbecue pit master guy, he uh... Do you know anything? Yeah, what? Okay. His, his buddy Stevie, he's, okay. he's a okay, he's a fire tender. There you go. Yeah. And uh, he's also a boy scout. And he made a really, really delicious brisket oh, yeah. with the minimal ingredients. But the crazy thing was, he smoked brisket and he added with ramen and it was probably one of the best ramen I've ever had. How did you like it, Mom Bear? Um, I was very surprised that I I actually liked it. Um, really? It Why? Wasn't, it wasn't super rich because I'm I'm I like the pork broth or the what tonkatsu? is it called? The, the tonkatsu. But then I can't do it too rich because anything super fatty, my stomach just doesn't. It just doesn't sit well with my stomach, and I just have to like take a shit right away. Yeah. So when we've I all tried, seen that happen. We have. Yeah. Oh. Um, so when I took the first few like um, tastes of the of the broth, yeah. I was like, "Oh, snaps! Like, this is awesome! Like I can taste what he wanted me to taste. It's like he was guiding me through all the flavors he wanted you to try. Or maybe it was because he explained all the ingredients in it that I was more aware of what I'm tasting. So I don't know what it was. You know what I love the most about it? What? What I love the most about it was through his food, we we were we were able to experience his life story. Cause he was saying how his mom, like my mom, sucks at cooking, so he thought the world was full of shitty food. And then he goes to Japan for the first time, and he ate Japanese ramen from like a little shack for the first time, and it blew out his mind how delicious that was. And then so forever in his mind, that ramen will ever have a place in his memory. Yeah. And then he has a, a newfound love for barbecuing, and he's been trying to perfect that for ages. So through the food that we ate he was able to combine kind of his origins and the the genesis of his start of his culinary career yeah. with his new passion and so it's like his whole entire life story all combined together in a dish without him having to ever really explain all that yeah that's great so you I'm don't, so you don't sorry. care, I, actually. No, 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 I care so much, but I'm on the worst fucking freeway right now, and I'm driving, and you're expecting me to give you these crazy answers, and I'm sorry, but I'm trying not to kill everyone in the fucking car right I'm now. not, I'm not, I don't want you to give me crazy answers. Well, I'm trying to see the mirror so I can keep changing lanes, and I just see the camera. <laughs> so you're so I'm admitting. So sorry. I love, I love that you're filming this, and I wish I could have this great conversation with you, but I'm seriously trying just not to like can you please pan over and see all this shit that's going on oh look here? how clear the freeway is <laughs> oh my Asshole. goodness it's clear just one prius and another little minivan oh it's so clear <laughs> now it is so now you can see the real relationship that Gio <laughs> has with me i try to that's pour my heart up. out that's and be as up. sentimental as i, I keep can keep your ass safe with my and wife and you still keep walking with oh, my man. wife and she doesn't even share the same experience that I had. Hey, I apologized before I did anything else. I said, I'm sorry, but this is the situation right now. Stevie cooked that broth for 24 hours for nothing. What? I, I thoroughly enjoyed his cooking. You called it pasta. <laughs> <laughs> you called it pasta? <laughs> and you think the LA traffic is more important than his cooking? No, I think us <laughs> staying alive is more important than his Oh, so our lives are more important than his 18-hour brisket. Absolutely. Because this took us a, many, many years uh, to God. get to this point. You know what? Do you ever want to have fucking sex again? No, I just want you to give me blowjobs. No, do you, Ben, do you want those? <laughs> yeah. Then you need to fucking be cuny as shit. Because right now, you're negative blowjobs. Wow. Negative blowjobs? <laughs> That yeah, just means that, that means she's, you gotta suck her. <laughs> no, yes, that, that means exactly what it means. That means my dick has to suck your mouth. That is. 
Yeah, you need that's fucking I'll weird. just put my dick on your lips and they'll suck on it. Like that. Try it. Like See a, what happens. Like an ant that's eater. a negative <laughs> blowjob. <laughs> I saw her dance with devil And he was wearing my suit Black and white Jordan 11 And she was looking for me <laughs> <laughs> What would your drug lord name be? I'd have to come back to you <laughs> Why did you decide to uh, keep your shirt all buttoned up? I mean, uh, unbuttoned. This was Casey's idea. Oh. Casey thought it would be dope to show my stomach and my chains and, like, let it fucking hang loose. Yeah, what was that to 